What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Fireside Giants. I'm your host, Anthony Rivardo, and I'm back at you with another film breakdown. It's playoffs week, baby. The Giants are facing off against the Minnesota Vikings this Sunday at 4.30 p.m., and we're here on Fireside Giants to provide you with a ton of content leading up to that postseason game, like this video, which is going to be taking a look at Isaiah Hodgins and why he will be the Giants' X Factor on offense in the playoffs. So, in this video, we're going to go ahead and break down three crucial plays from the Giants versus Vikings matchup on Christmas Eve in Week 16. Plays made by Isaiah Hodgins, highlighting how he can create an advantage for the Giants offensively in this first postseason game. The Giants' first postseason game since 2016. I'm super excited. I know all of you are. But if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to leave a like and comment down below what you think. Again, this is a new format. Many of you probably tuned into the last one. You seem to really like our my film breakdown. So hitting you with another one, and I'm going to roll out another one probably later on this week as well. We're going to be keeping these up since you guys seem to like them so much, but make sure to leave me some feedback down in the comment section below and leave a like if you do enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you're new. But without further ado, let's get into the film. All right, let's first break down this big explosive play from Hodgins down the right sideline. This play was made with 2 minutes and 14 seconds left in the second quarter. Daniel Jones connected with Hodgins for 29 yards on this route. Off the bat, let's look at the coverage here. The Vikings line up in a cover two man shell. They have two safeties over top and everyone else is matched up one on one. But this is a disguised coverage. The Vikings are actually in cover one man sending their slot cornerback on a blitz. So they only have one safety over top. Now let's look at the Giants play call and see how the route concept on the right side attacks this coverage. The Giants are running a two man route concept with Isaiah Hodgins on the outside and tight end Daniel Bellinger in the slot. Bellinger is running a dig route, a deep end. This route is designed to pull that safety closer to the middle of the field, opening things up on the boundary. Hodgins is running a sluggo. Since this is man coverage, this is the perfect man beating route. Hodgins had been getting open on slants, crossers, and digs all game long, so Patrick Peterson is anticipating an in breaking route here. Hodgins takes advantage of that, fakes the slant, and gets wide open on the go route with no safety help over top. This is a nasty route from Hodgins. Watch how he sells the break and frees himself open against a future Hall of Fame cornerback. This is a level of route running that the Giants don't have anywhere else on the field, which is why Hodgins is going to be their X factor in this postseason. It's a great job by Hodgins to be aware of his surroundings and not run this route too close to the sideline. He gives Jones plenty of space to fit this ball into, and he does an excellent job hauling it in and keeping his feet in bounds. Also, great job by Daniel Jones to hang in there and throw a dime with the blitz closing in. All right, now we're going to break down this next play that I think we'll see again in the postseason. Hodgins gets a gain of 17 yards on this play with 14 minutes and 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter. On this play, the Giants are running a drive concept. This concept gets offensive playmakers on the move underneath and forces linebackers to cover a lot of space and is really effective against any coverage type. The outside receiver, Richie James, runs a shallow crosser or a drag route about 2-4 to four yards upfield. The inside receiver, Isaiah Hodgins, runs a basic 10-12 to 12 yard deep crosser. On the opposite side of the field, Darius Slayton runs a go route that is used to clear out the right side of the field for the crosser to run into open space with the tight end Bellinger also running into the flat. The Vikings are running a cover one man with a quarterback spy. This is going to leave trailing men behind James and Hodgins on their crossing routes. As Hodgins starts his route, notice the way he manipulates the cornerback with his eyes. He looks toward the left boundary to keep the corner guessing before breaking across the middle of the field. As Hodgins approaches the middle of the field, the right boundary looks a little bit crowded, but watch how the play design clears the other defensive backs out of the way. As mentioned earlier, Slayton's go route clears out the boundary corner and holds the single high safety deep down the field. Bellinger's flat route pulls the strong safety Harrison Smith down into the flat. This creates a wide open area for Jones to deliver this ball to Hodgins. This is one of many plays that offensive coordinator Mike Kafka has drawn up to get Isaiah Hodgins open in recent weeks. Hodgins is really patient and has great spatial awareness on his routes. He's always looking for the open window and has great chemistry with Daniel Jones. Plays like this are really easy to run when the quarterback and receiver have as good of chemistry as Jones and Hodgins. Okay, now we're going to cap off this breakdown taking a look at the touchdown that Isaiah Hodgins scored in this game. This was one of a number of red zone touchdowns that Hodgins has scored so far this season, and Hodgins has been really good for the Giants in the red zone, but let's break down why that is on this play. The Vikings are in man coverage here. They've stacked the box with eight men to prevent the run, anticipating a handoff to Saquon Barkley. The Giants use play action and pre-snap motion, which holds the two inside linebackers in the middle of the field for a second, causing a miscommunication and seems to cause a blown coverage. It looks like the Vikings were trying to run cover two man, but the coverage was blown by the inside linebacker. The linebacker 
linebacker is supposed to cover Saquon out of the backfield, but he ends up dropping into his zone. This forces the safety to cover Saquon, which then causes him to run into Patrick Peterson, which then causes him to be out of position on Hodgins, freeing Hodgins open. The Giants are running a mesh concept here. This concept is really great on the goal line because there are so many crossing routes and opportunities for receivers to create natural picks and find open space. That's exactly what happens to Hodgins on this play. As this play begins, watch how Hodgins runs this route right at the opposing safety. This causes his man, Patrick Peterson, to run into the safety, slowing him down and opening up Hodgins. Now it's just for Hodgins to be patient and keep his eyes on the quarterback while finding the open window. Once he clears that second linebacker, Hodgins is open and ready to make the touchdown grab. It's also really important to take note of how the pre-snap motion caused a bunch of confusion in the coverage on this play. The safety and linebacker didn't know who to cover and ended up running into a cornerback to blow the coverage and leave Hodgins open. Daniel Jones feels the pressure when this play begins and does a great job extending the play, buying time for Hodgins to get open on his drag route. A lot of the time for shallow crossers, it's just about waiting for the receiver to clear a zone and find the window, and that's what happened here with Hodgins. Again, it's really important to notice how the pre-snap motion opened up this play. It's a beautifully designed play by Mike Kafka. Mesh concepts are really useful down on the goal line, and this is something that if the Giants find themselves in the red zone in the postseason against the Vikings this upcoming week, this is a play they're going to go back to because this is a great way to just free up some receivers by creating confusion in the secondary and just find the open man. Again, great job by Daniel Jones to extend the play, but Hodgins has really good spatial awareness and is so good at finding those open pockets in the defense and freeing himself open for big gains or touchdown grabs. That's why he's so lethal in the red zone. He's just a very smart player, and I think that's on full display on this play. So that's going to wrap this one up. Thank you so much for tuning in to this film breakdown on Isaiah Hodgins. Now, once again, I really think Isaiah Hodgins can be the Giants' X factor in the playoffs. There's a few few reasons that I think that, one of them being he's so good in the red zone. He just finds ways to get open. He's so good. I mentioned it a few times in this episode, the spatial awareness. He's always looking around. His head is on a swivel. He knows where zone defenders are. He knows where man defenders are too. He just knows where the open windows are and he just knows how to find them. So once he finds those open windows, Daniel Jones tends to find him. There you go. Big gains, big touchdowns. Isaiah Hodgins, man, he's a really smart receiver. Now, he might not be the fastest, most athletic receiver in the world, whatever, but he's very smart. And that's how he gets himself open and creates a lot of plays for the Giants. And I really think that he's going to be a huge part of the Giants offense in the future. I think he's going to be a starting receiver next season. And I think going into this postseason, he's the man to watch out for. And when you take a look at that first game between the Giants and the Vikings, Hodgins really had Patrick Peterson's number. Now, I didn't I didn't stutter that, right? Uh, P- Patrick Peterson's number. That's that's a Hall of Fame cornerback Patrick Peterson, one day to be a Hall of Fame cornerback. And Isaiah Hodgins was really working him for a good portion of the game. Now, a lot of it was schemed together. As I showed in this breakdown, there was a lot of plays where Mike Kafka did a great job getting Isaiah Hodgins open, but Isaiah Hodgins is capitalizing on all of those opportunities. Haven't seen him drop the pass. Haven't seen him really make any mistakes. He's just been capitalizing on every chance that he's been given, every opportunity that's been handed to him. He's made the most of it. And it's really rather impressive the way that Hodgins has just burst onto the scene and become a touchdown scoring machine for the New York Giants. So I think he's going to have a big role in this postseason. Hopefully the Giants are able to squeak out this win against the Vikings or the underdogs going into this game. Of course they are six seed going up against the third seed in the postseason uh, on the road in Minnesota. It's not going to be an easy one, but I think that the Giants have some opportunities to maybe build on some things that they saw in week 16 and hopefully sneak out that underdog victory. But that pretty much wraps this one up. Make sure to comment down below if you did enjoy this film breakdown and what you want to see me break down next. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this episode of Fireside Giants and subscribe to the channel if you're new and ring the bell so you don't miss an episode. Everything covering the New York Giants right here on Fireside Giants. And again, we're super excited that the Giants are finally in the postseason. So we've got a lot of great content coming out this week and hopefully for a few more weeks as the Giants hopefully win some more playoff games. But make sure to leave a like. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one. And let's go Giants. Let's go beat those Vikings. (music) 